In this tutorial, we will create this drawing in feet and inches in AutoCAD 2020. This tutorial will be of two parts. In first part, we will create drawing and in second part, we will apply dimensions. We will create and apply layers. Then we will create hatch and we will also create PDF of this drawing with thickness like the one you are viewing now. These tutorials are part of tutorial series in which we are learning AutoCAD 2020 from basic to advanced level. The previous tutorial in this series was this AutoCAD tutorial for beginners 7 in which we have learned all the remaining draw commands and before that we have created these objects in drawing tutorial 6. So link to all these tutorials will be given in the description. If you want more such type of videos then please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. Let's start creating this drawing. As this drawing is in inches therefore click here on this arrow and click on a cat.dwt to check units type un press enter then click here on decimal and select architectural then keep this insertion scale in inches and click on ok then in other settings here we are keeping this object snap tracking on we are keeping this object snap also on and if you click on this arrow near object snap we will be using endpoint midpoint center quadrant intersection and extension object snaps by clicking on them you can select them or deselect them dynamic input is also on if any button is not visible here from here you can control visibility of these buttons. The buttons with the ticks are right now visible here. And if you want to see some other button which is not visible here, you just have to click on it. So it will get visible. Click outside. So at first we will create some reference lines. For that click here on line. Specify first point. For straight line, click here on ortho mode. So it will get on. Take your cursor on this side and specify length. Suppose I will create here line of 1 feet. So this single quotation mark is available on the left side of your enter. Just click on it. So it will add this single quotation mark which is the symbol of feet. Then just to show how to give inches also. Suppose I will give here two and half inch. For half, type here negative sign or minus sign and then give one divided by two. So here I am creating this line of one feet two and half inches. For inches, there is no need to specify any symbol. Press enter and enter. Zoom there. Then to check the length of this line, click here on this arrow and click on distance click on this end point and this end point so here this length is one feet two and a half inches press escape then i will create one vertical line also click on line i want to create second line passing through the midpoint of this line so to catch the midpoint take your cursor on this midpoint don't click there and take your cursor above and click. Take it below. You can also create a free end line by just clicking two points and press enter. Zoom there. Now in this object at first we will create this internal circle of one inch diameter. For diameter click here on this arrow and click on center diameter. Then Click on this midpoint, take your cursor away and specify 1 
and press enter next is this circle of 1 and 3/8 inch again click here on center diameter click center point here take your cursor away and specify 1 dash 3 by 8 and press enter next is this circle of 2 and 1/2 inch gap between this two circle is 1 by 4 inch again click on center diameter specify center point take your cursor away and specify here diameter of 2 and 1/2 inch you can also specify 2.5 press enter to create other circle at the gap of quarter inch click here on offset specify offset distance of 1/4 press enter select this circle take your cursor outside and click press enter to stop offset command then next is this 3 and 3/4 circle click on circle specify center point take your cursor away 3 dash 3/4 and enter so all these circles are created next is to create front view for front view we will take some projections for projections click here on draw and click on construction line we want to create vertical construction line for that click here on ver and click on quadrants of the circles then press enter press enter to repeat last command click on hor and click here press escape so in this object at first we will create this quadrant and then we will mirror it and after developing this internal part we will again mirror it so here at first we will create this line at 15 degree click on line specify first point here at intersection make ortho mode off then zoom there take your cursor here press tab angle from this horizontal line is 15 degree but we have to specify angle from this line that means this angle will be 180 minus 15 degree that is 165 degree press enter and enter then here this gap is 316 and this line angle is 30 degree click on offset specify offset distance of 316 press enter select this line take your cursor below and click press enter then to change angle of this line click on this line take your cursor on this blue grip and click and take it below press tab then again press tab now it is showing this angle so i don't want to change this angle again press tab so here now it is changing this angle so here i want to increase angle by 15 degree so type here 15 and press enter and press escape so here this line is converted to 30 degree you can check the angle of this line by clicking here on this arrow and click on angle and select this line and this line So here angle is 30 degree. Press escape. Zoom there. Then next is to create this arc of 316 diameter. That means radius will be 330 second. Click on fillet. Click on radius. Specify 330 second. Press enter. select this object and this object then i want this shape inside this line 
for that we will move this shape click on move select these objects press enter take your cursor to this quadrant take your cursor inside and click here on this intersection so here this object is fitted perfectly zoom minus then we will need one horizontal line here type l for line press enter click on this intersection point make ortho mode on then take your cursor to this intersection take it below and click press enter now here total height is two and half and we want to create this half portion therefore we will need height of one and quarter so to create that line click here on offset specify gap of one and quarter press enter select this line take your cursor below and click press enter now we will trim unwanted objects for that click on trim press enter and remove unwanted objects enter then remove these remaining lines for that type e enter type f for fence press enter click here and cross these lines and press enter and end so here this quarter portion is created then we want same on the opposite side for that click here on mirror select these objects press enter then first point of mirror line will be this end point click there take your cursor on this side ensure that your ortho mode is on and click and click on no then i don't need this line type e enter select this line press enter then to increase length of this line click on this line click on this blue grip take your cursor below and click and press escape then next is to create this portion now these lines are in line with these circles and height of this line is two and quarter click on line take your cursor to this circle don't click there take your cursor away so it will track it click here on this intersection point pan it above take your cursor below and specify height of two and quarter press enter then press enter again press enter to repeat line command take your cursor here take it below click then take your cursor on this end point take it away and click and click and press enter then this gap is one and half inch and this dimension is three eight before that we will remove this line you can also click on this line click on this grip and click here on this intersection press escape click on offset specify gap of one and half inch you can also type here 1.5 enter select this line take your cursor below and click again select this line take your cursor below and specify gap of 3/8 enter and enter then we will have to remove these lines and extend this line for that type tr for trim press enter enter and remove these lines then to extend this line press shift and click on this line press enter so this shape is ready then i want same on the opposite side for that click here on mirror select these objects press enter then 
first point of mirror line will be the same point take your cursor above and click and click on no so here this object is ready in the next part we will apply layers like center and hidden then we will create these dimensions we will create this hatch and we will create this pdf file with thickness like the one you are viewing now so thanks for watching we will stop here